welcome back to my channel. We are <laughs> at the mall at Green Hills and we're walking up the escalator that is apparently down. Jaywaz got some new Lululemon pants that I'm sure he'll be very excited to show you guys. But today we are headed to Crate Barrel to finish up our holiday decorations. We need to get a few things like a wreath, some garland, some mantle hooks. So we thought we would make the day of it and vlog and take you guys with us. Right, show, it, show us your pants. Those are nice. We got some like Lululemon cargo pants that were on sale during the their like Black Friday Cyber Monday sale. And then he got a pair of their ABC pants that are kind of like a dress pant but very like comfy, athletic. They were like jeans? I thought they were like a... Uh... The, the commission pants, I think, is more like the dress pants. Oh. I'm pretty sure I got the more jean. I don't no. know. I don't know. He's new to Lululemon, Honestly, but ever since he got his like one pair of Lululemon shorts, it's changed his life, and now he refuses to wear anything else it's your fault. other than Lululemon. They're so. kind of sweet though, right? Yeah, no, they look good. Kind of See, they have this cool pocket on the side. Look at this. Snap! Look at all their treasures. Oh! <laughs> what? <laughs> no? I told myself that I'm not allowed to get more trees as my like decor, but I want them so bad. They're so cute. Look at these wine glasses. These are so nice. Okay, but what about a snowman? Look at him. That'd be really cute. It doesn't do much for me. I don't know. What do you mean? It's just so white. Like, it just looks so like bare. Yeah. Do you dress it up? Or? No, it's like clean, minimal, modern. Do these like light up? Candle holders. It's like a tree. No more trees for me though, apparently. But look how cute and small they are. These are really cute. And they're not I trees. I think you can put a candle. We could get like a electric little battery one like that was inside the pumpkins. All their cute little ornaments. He's keeping me focused even though I want to look at all the little dog ornaments. So cute. Oh, those are pretty, the green snowman. What are you thinking? I got them like this across the TV stand. Or on the piano would be really pretty. I like that one. I do like that, that's pretty. Probably, is that a good size? Too big? It definitely like fills the door. It's pretty though. Okay, we have pivoted to our house just to like see other options before we buy anything, see if they have anything. And look at these little penguins, they're so cute. Welcome. They're so cute. Stockings are really pretty too, like a Sherpa. Okay, our house has this one, which actually has like pine cones and stuff on it. We've also got this like metal one. Jaywaz has pivoted from the Christmas decor straight to the couches. <laughs> okay, we legit need a new bath mat and this was really speaking to us. It's kind of Riley's hair is gonna get all over that. <laughs> Alright, we got the goods. That's our car. We got the goods at Crate and Barrel. And we ended up finding cash that my grandma gave us for Christmas last year in one of our junk drawers, like in our kitchen. So we ended up grabbing that. Thank you, grandma. And now we are at Target to pick up some lights and some more like generic ornaments for the office or for the tree in my office. And then also so some wrapping paper. <laughs> it's so bright. We're going to get out of the car now. <laughs> little decor items. They have these small little wrapping paper rolls. I really like getting these types of like fake greenery and stuff to tie on to the outside of packages. I'll like cut them up and use them on multiple gifts. Target has the cutest little trees that I'm not gonna buy because I have enough trees. Oh, but they're so cute. This one's pretty this little gold one. Well, I'm out of luck. They're literally cleaned out of lights besides blue lights which maybe we just go blue oh my gosh there's like nothing here for my tiny yeah i guess i'll just go to home depot tomorrow hmm they do however have ornaments which is good because it's like cleaned out of everything i kind of like these these like 
copper. Chocolate brown's the color of the season. Looks like this one's been opened. Chocolate brown, color of the season. <gasps> those are pretty, yeah, do those. Those are they're like the sage green. Really, really pretty. Even the ornaments are like cleared out. It's so crazy. All right, it is the next day. And because the sun has been setting at like four every day by the time we got home, because we ended up going to Publix after and like grabbing stuff for dinner, it was dark and I was like, I don't wanna show them all this stuff in the dark. So I thought we could do a little Christmas decor haul day. And I actually wanted to show you guys some things that I got in the mail this past week because I haven't actually done like an actual unboxing here on my channel in forever. So first thing up is from Missouri and I believe this is one of their like jewelry cases. This is either a jewelry case or this is something from their new pet line that they just released. So it looks like it is like a piece of jewelry. So it's our little box. And in here we've got a little tag for Riley. How cute is that? So Missouri launched this whole pet collection where you can like put the tags onto their collars. I just thought that was so adorable. So they got one for Riley. Ry, come here. I got put your tag on. And it's engraved with your name on it. We're gonna put it on with your other one. And then you're gonna be blinging out, Riley. You're gonna be an absolute bling master. It says Riley on it. And then the other side is the little heart. So, all right, you're free to go. Thank you for stepping in. <laughs> Hi, Ryan. Um, so that is new from Missouri, and I think they have like a few different styles. I got the round one. And then also, I got these in way before like Black Friday and Cyber Monday, but I just did not get around to sharing them with y'all, but I wanted to eventually, so I thought I would just do it in this vlog since we haven't done like an actual unboxing in a long time. But these are all of the Glossier holiday kits and sets, which I just think are so, so adorable. So these are the smaller sets here. This one is the touch-up kit. It comes with the Ultra Lip, and then I think this is the one with the small Glossier Rollerball perfume. So it comes in this like tin case. And then you get the limited edition ultra lip in this really pretty kind of like holiday red, which is so fun, so festive. And then my favorite thing though is for real, the roller ball. I wish they would release this as like an individual thing because there's so many times where I forget to put on a fragrance during the morning and then I like want something when I'm out and about. And the U perfume is like one of my legit favorite scents ever. So I'm so excited to have this for my purse. And then this is the other kit. This is the I Stars kit. And I think this is a limited edition Lid Star and then their Lash Lick Mascara. So this is what the tin looks like. And in here, we've got the Lidstar in Aurora, which is a new shade. So this is the shade. It's kind of like a mauve pink. It's just like one of their shimmer shadows. Really pretty though. So that is like a limited color that they're doing for the holidays. And the last kit before I get into the candles, which I'm easily the most excited about, is the cross country kit. This comes with a milk jelly cleanser, a small after balm, balm.com and mint, and then a Marvis toothbrush and toothpaste, I think is what's in this one. So again, the fun holiday packaging. And oh, it slides open like that. And you get the mini jelly cleanser, which I actually use when I travel, one of the smaller ones. And this is the After Balm, which is like one of my favorite moisturizers that they've released. It's like super, super thick and hydrating around this time of the year. It's like perfect. They have a little mini version, which is so stinking cute. So that is this kit. You do get the full balm.com, which is fun. The last two things are the candles, which I'm just, I'm so obsessed with these. I immediately opened these when they came in, so. I decided not to burn them though, because I was waiting for this video. But this is the first one. This is the Orange Blossom Neroli, which this is the one that they released last year in one of their holiday kits with the bath oils. But it was like a really, really small candle. And I was so sad. I was like, please release this in a full size eventually, like by itself. And they did. So they... They heard me. It's this really beautiful blush pink glass and it smells so good. It honestly smells like their oil body wash and their body hero is what it smells like, but 
That one's Jason's favorite. And then they also released a new candle, which is the Glossier U, which is the fragrance of the roller ball in their perfume. And this one is in this beautiful red glass. It smells so good. It smells just like the perfume. So these are the two candles that they released in full sizes, which I'm so pumped about. This one's probably my favorite of the two, even though I love the Glossier U fragrance. I think I like it like as a fragrance, but I love this as like a candle. So those are the two candles. I thought they were really cute and their holiday stuff is always really fun because it's like limited edition and they're almost like collectible items. So I thought I would share those with y'all. All right, next up is a package from a brand called Elizabeth Suzanne, which is a small brand here in Nashville. And I've been a fan of her stuff for I guess like since maybe college is when I like discovered a little bit of Suzanne, but they released a new like knit line, which a lot of their stuff in the past has been linen or cotton focused. And they just released some knitwear, which I think is really fun. Um, so I wanted to share that with y'all. The first thing is this crew neck sweater and all their stuff is like incredible quality and they make it here in Nashville. I've actually been to their studio and I've like seen where they do all of like the garment like cutting and all that stuff. They do it here in Nashville, which is really cool. So this is the first piece, which is this beautiful charcoal gray, like longer knit. So this would be perfect for wearing over like leggings. It's so, so cozy and it's just a really, really beautiful knit. It's got the ribbing around the neckline. And then I got a new beanie and a matching scarf from them as well which the quality of like Elizabeth Suzanne, even in her like cotton and linen pieces have always been like top, top notch. So I'm so excited for these. This is a little beanie in this like smoky, kind of like, well, I guess more of like an olive green. Again, it's like ribbed, but it seems very, very comfy, very cozy. A vibe. And then the scarf is in the same color, which is like this like muted olive green. Same material, so it's that wool. Oh, it's like so, so soft and plushy. We're just gonna go for it, here we go. Now, I can show you guys what we got at Korean Burrow and Target for the house. So first up, I didn't get that much stuff at Target. I mostly got like gift wrapping stuff. I did get a little battery pack strain of lights for our wreath that we're gonna put on the front door, which I'll show you in a second. And then I definitely just got suckered into the winter scented hand soap and surface cleaner. <laughs> I passed by these and I was like, I, I don't know. I blacked out and I put them in my cart. So that's where we're at. Cause it smells like a Christmas tree. So I'm very, very pumped. And also Jay was just excited cause he loves anything like tree scented, cypress, fir, all things. He loves tree scents, so he approved. And then let's see, my other bag of Target things. I ended up getting three rolls of wrapping paper. Two of them were from the like $5 and under section. So I got red stripe and little Christmas trees. And those were more affordable, but they're definitely like shorter rolls than a standard roll of wrapping paper. And honestly, the Target selection of wrapping paper was not great. I honestly didn't find anything besides this like black plaid that I really like. Everything else I just thought was like kind of cheap looking. So I ended up just getting this one, but it's kind of like a beige and black plaid, which I thought would be really pretty with the accessories that I got for my gifts. So I found these tiny little gold and silver disco balls for $3 that I could tie to my gifts. Cause I thought those would be really cute. They're technically like small ornaments. I guess if you have like a little baby fake tree, but I love getting these types of things to tie on to like ribbons on my gifts. And then I also got white, black and gold mini ornaments, again, to tie on to gifts and gold pine cones, which will ruin whoever's life that these come across because they are definitely very glittery and it gets everywhere. So and then I got two little branches of fake greenery. Again, I like to clip these and then tie them onto gifts 
fun little decorations. I feel like that makes, I love wrapping gifts, so I feel like it just makes it, takes it to the next level, you know? So that's what I got there. And then I got some ornaments for my fake tree upstairs, my flocked tree, which I set up in my previous vlog, but I got ornaments for that. So these are the ornaments, went with silver and this like really pretty like slate blue. So I thought that was really pretty. And then, okay. <laughs> This is the last thing I grabbed and I only grabbed it because I doubled back on it and I was like, I still really, really, really want it even though I said I wasn't gonna get more fake trees. I got one, I only got one. Between the two stores that we went to, I only picked up one and I just thought this one looked like so much more expensive than it was. Like it just looked higher end, like something you could find at Crate and Barrel or like CB2, but also still like warm and kind of rustic. How pretty is that? It's got like the wood sides to it. And I said I wasn't gonna get any more fake trees, but I need something to go on our piano. Or I could put this in the kitchen and put the house that I got at Crate and Barrel on the piano. I gotta set everything out. So we'll do that after I show you guys everything. But I wanted to do a little haul first. Um, from Crate and Barrel, we got our stocking holders, which we really needed. Last year, we I think we just draped our stockings across our TV console. So we got two of these. They're these like modern, very minimalist tree stocking holders. So we got two of those. And then we got a bath mat because our bath mat is disgusting. Jay was really bonded with this one. So this is the one that we grabbed from Crate and Barrel. And then we got this little ceramic house, which was so cute with the A-frame. I thought this would be really pretty. I'm probably gonna put this on the piano. I feel like it belongs on the piano. So I'll put this on the piano with the garland. And the last two things that we got are the garland and the wreath, which are the same style. So pull this out without it being damaged. So this is the garland and it's like wired. So it kind of bends and forms whatever shape you want it to. But it's got these really pretty like berries on it. We decided to go light and bright this year. So we did that with the garland and the wreath. And this is the wreath, which I really hope fits on our front door because it's definitely bigger than the one we got last year. And I didn't really think about it needing to fit on our front door or needing to be thin enough to sit between the front door and the glass door in front of it. So I might be returning this, but it's really pretty. So I guess we'll find out. But that's everything I got. So I'm gonna set everything up and I'll show you guys kind of where I place everything. Okay, so I tried to see if it would fit between the front door and the glass door that we have like on top of each other and it's too thick. But I conveniently found this wreath hook that the previous owner of this house left behind. I guess it, maybe they used it as like a, like a towel hook or something like that, but it should be able to just slip over the door, I would hope. I guess I haven't tried that yet, let me see. All right, it fits perfectly, but it is a little bit too high if I just hook the wreath onto the hook. So I have twine here that I'm gonna attach to the wreath and then loop it so that I can hang it from the hook and then hang it from the door. Honestly, we could keep it out here all year round, but hi, Rai. Hello, so pretty. All right, so this is our piano now, and I've got this like big vase from Target and some like dried green wheat in there. And then this is the garland of berries, my diffuser. This is the little house that we got at 
Great Barrel. And then Jason's grandma's Swedish horse. And she's cozy and festive now. Isn't she right? All right, I got everything set up and I have no regret purchases, which is really good. So I was worried about the wreath not working, but it all ties it in great. really well. And he mm -hmm. likes the garland. It does. Yeah. Because last year we went more like live garland, live wreath. So obviously it was like pine needles and, and green. And this year we decided to really lean into like the contemporary, modern, clean aesthetic that we have been trying to attempt <laughs> as we've lived here. And I think it looks really, really good. I think it does too. Um, but we're going to end the vlog with a little show and tell from Jay Waz in his new Lululemon pants. Show them. All right, this is the second pair that he got during Black Friday. I wouldn't style them with these slippers, but- You could though. To be honest, this is how I'll wear them most of the time. And we got it wrong. Those are not the ABC pants. What are those? They're the Utilitech pants. Utilitech. And honestly, they bang. Would highly recommend for a husband, brother, father. They have zippers in friend. their pockets and they're like worky. They almost feel like like a athletic, waterproof, durable material, but they're really like comfy. A, yeah, like a thick swimsuit or something. Yeah, but they look nicer than like a pair of joggers, so they're not like sweatpants. Yeah, they're a little more like jeans, but they're not like, I don't know. And then there's like one pocket in the back. Yeah, they're he's a big fan. Bye-bye jeans. Bye-bye jeans. So, these I don't know, if you're looking for a good gift for a guy in your life, apparently these pants are the move. But anyway, we're gonna end the vlog here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe if you're new here, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Peace.